Welcome back. Kids are officially back to school in the Indy area. That means parents, they've tackled the school supplies, the sports sign up, the new schedule. So today we're tackling another back to school must and it's the lunchbox. Our friend Janine from the City Moms is here to dive into a few easy hacks for jazzing up your kiddos pack lunches. Janine, welcome as always. Thank you, you guys. Good to see you. Good, Good to see you too. Here. I know school time, so many things you gotta, you gotta tackle as a parent. Yeah. Um, lunchbox is one of those things that you just start, you don't really think of until school's already starting. You're like, all oh, right. Oh, I had all these things yes. pinned on my Pinterest board. Like, what am I going to do? So, oh. Well, yeah. the biggest thing I'm sure is you want to keep it fresh. So what are your oh, yeah. recommendations yes. for that? Yeah, so starting with the good foundation for your lunch, I mean, for your kiddos' lunch. And that's starting with a lunchbox that has um, an insulated interior. Okay. So, you know, that's going to help keep the cold foods cold, the warm things warm, and really kind of temperature control. Mm -hmm. And you'll know that it's insulated because you'll see that piece kind of on the inside yeah. of that lunchbox. So that's going to be key. But what we're seeing this year with lunchbox is huge trend toward the bento box. Oh, okay. So, yes, yeah, I love that. They're all, I mean, they're everywhere. They're all over Pinterest. I mm -hmm. mean, my teen loves it. So bento boxes are huge this year. And I brought a few different examples with me okay. um, from Bent Go, which is kind of that go-to for bento. Oh, I love so, that. Not only are they producing these bento boxes, but they also have these containers that are like great for salad. Yeah. So cool. keeps things in different compartments so your wet food's not kind of creeping over into your dry stuff. Yep. It's gonna keep everything nice and fresh. Also are coming with like this, dr this salad dressing containers. Um, a lot of these bento boxes also coming with utensils that you can use. Nice. They've got stackable ones, we've got bowls. One of the things though that we just found and we're like obsessed with right now, yeah. Bentco has this built-in lunch bag backpack. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. that that's insulation cool. here, and you can just go ahead and tuck a bento box in. Yeah. And oh, I mean all that's in convenient. one. Yeah, so yeah. kids aren't dragging around a separate lunch They'll box. Have separate bags yep. and you're less likely to lose something. Exactly. This so is light invest years here. Beyond what I had I as know. a kid. Right. I, you know, I loved I loved my hard like plastic I 80s yes. box. Like a hard plastic one. Like the one. thermos. That yep. was the jam. Yes. Then I graduated to do like paper bag. Right. This is this is a whole different planet yes, than yes. what we were on. So you can back find all of these in that lunch section. Target, Amazon, Walmart. We've got some linked on our site too. But oh. definitely start here. Okay. This is gonna be bent go. Yes, cool. bent go. So cool. So what other key factors would you say you need to know for a nutritious lunch? For okay, place? so I'm going over in front of Ryan okay. and that's um, that you really want to be focused on the protein part of the lunch. Yeah. So kids love those empty calories. You know, you can eat an entire box of goldfish and you'll never right. be full. So, oh, so true. this is when you really want to hone in on some good protein options. Uh, so Emerson packed this bento Emerson. box. Good job, yes, Emerson. my 13 year old. Well, look at that. Yeah, so one of our key fight, favorite things to do at home that's really easy for lunchbox hack is that roll up that you see that has a toothpick through it. So it's lunch meat and cheese. Yeah. Roll that right yes. up. Also, you know, she's got these bumps on a log in here with some nut butter, but Ooh. you want to be thinking meat, cheese, cottage cheese, yeah. something that. even with like Get these, oh yeah, I'll tell her you two that you ate that. Yeah. Good She'll job, so Good job, Good job mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lifestyle host approved. Exactly. Was Perfect. Great. But you know, Kemp's has these new cottage cheese, mm -hmm. uh, whipped cottage cheese that you can pack in as well. Nice. And, you know, think about these things, about what is going to really fuel kids for school. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. going to be those protein, those things that are going to yeah. keep them full, yeah. filled up. Love the blueberries too. I yes. can eat blueberries all day. Oh, that's good. Now, I understand you have some hacks. I do. Yeah. What, what, what would you, you say those Okay. Are? Yeah. I know these aren't very pretty, but I promise these will come together. Okay. So, okay. first hack is to turn your juice boxes into makeshift ice packs. Mm. So if you don't have an ice pack at home, that's okay. totally fine. You're gonna drop these in the freezer the night before, and then when you put these into your kiddo's lunch, this is actually going to act as an ice pack. Okay. Well, you know, slightly warm up throughout the day, but keep everything in their lunchbox nice and yes. cool. Brilliant. So start there. Oh, that's perfect. Our next one, this is one of our favorites at home. So chips are really notoriously difficult to pack mm -hmm. in a lunch. Uh -huh. So what I'm gonna tell you right now is called creating a pillow out of your chip bag. Okay. So you're gonna take a straw. Yeah. This is one of our favorite things to do. Okay. Add a little air Add into little that. Air. And now these are easy enough to pack so that if something gets oh, put on yeah. top of them, it creates a little air pocket. Protect the chips, guys. Yes. It's a little pillow. I yes, like those chips. perfect. So That's two cool. other quick things, you know, those take 
out, um, whenever you get takeout dinners yeah. at home and you end up with some of these, just hang out of these for mm -hmm. lunches. They're perfect. Yep. Yeah, so, throw them in there and that way you're not wasting it. Yes, yeah. speaking of wasting, let's talk about leftovers yes. quickly. Okay. Make a great option for your lunch. So warm those up in the morning, drop them in a thermos. It's going to keep those warm yeah. for kids at lunch. That way you're using up what you've already got in your, in your kitchen, in your fridge, and they're getting a good lunch. Who was so. on your lunchbox as a kid, Janine? Do you remember? Okay, I had a Cabbage Patch Kids lunchbox, oh, and yes. then I had a Gem in the Rockers okay. lunchbox. Oh, yeah. Jill, yeah. Joe, what about you? Okay, I can't remember what was on my lunchbox. I just keep thinking of the notes my mom used to write me. Oh, like, yeah. And I would Kathy get so excited. Love I'd be her. like, what did my mom write me today? Mm -hmm. And it would be this like long note. Yeah. I'd be like, love mom. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. can't think of what was on my lunchbox. Yeah. Mine what was the you? Popples. You remember the yeah. Popples? Oh, remember for the sure. Yeah, I yeah. still have my Popple. Olivia sleeps with it. Oh, yeah, no way. Cool. These so are great cool. resources. Good. Uh, yeah. Go follow along. Thecitymoms.org. They have free membership, too. And give them a follow on social. Janine, thank you so much for being here today. Great resource. Sources as always. Yeah, Go ahead. thank you so much. Still to come, we are going to head out to the Indy Now backyard to get details for the 29th annual Wicket World of Croquet. We're going to put our skills to the test. But before we get to that, here's a word from our friends at the Recovery Centers of America. Take a look. We're here at the Recovery Centers of America in Indianapolis with Ethan Harrison, one of the supervisors here, learning a little bit more about what they do and learning more about your story, Ethan. Thank you for being with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Let's get right into it. I know a lot of people might have questions about what you do and why you're here. What do you tell them? So I mainly supervise our recovery support specialists, so they are the frontline workers. So they get to interact and connect with the patients day in and day out. So they are helping them get to groups, um, helping them get to their fresh air, their meal breaks, different things like that. So they're always with the patients. I know this is one of those topics that can be difficult to talk about, but it's important to talk about. Absolutely. And I know that's why your work is probably so rewarding. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Um, the connections that they build with our patients is, it's very unique, mm -hmm. let's just say that. Well, one of the things I was reading that you sent over was, it's been said that you guys walk the walk, not just talk the talk. What do you mean by that? I think um, for RCA, just speaking as a general um, facility, I think, you know, we have a lot of treatment facilities, you know, they advertise and they do different things. But I think what's special about RCA is that you know, from the minute they walk through the door, it's that that connection starts to be built. Just complete um, roundabout care yeah. starts from the very beginning. So yeah, I can tell you're passionate about what you do. What's your why? How? Why would you describe you are so passionate about this work? Um, if not to go in too much detail, I'm you know I'm in long-term recovery myself, so I think that passion comes from that. So I share a lot of their experiences mm -hmm. and that fear and that courage that they have to have to come here. Um, so it's just, it's a benefit for me to come into work every day and just kind of see uh, the transformation with our patients. So that's what drives and motivates me every day to come. It's gotta be so rewarding it, for you yeah, to it see is. the difference you're making. Absolutely. Um, it, it It's a blessing, I'll just say that. Well, we appreciate you even sharing that because I'm sure one of the things you often hear is that they may feel like people don't understand. Oh. And for you, you understand. Yeah, absolutely. My team, especially, like their connections, like I said, they build those. It's part of because of that's part of their story as well, so. For anybody watching right now that's maybe just considering seeing what resource you have available, what would you say? Um, we all have a hotline that is 24 seven. So, you know, if you're struggling or you just, you're ready to move or take that next step, like 1-800-RECOVERY, yeah. we'll get transport out to you immediately and get you, get you the help that you need. Yeah, and on the employee side of things, I know you have an amazing story yourself. You're out here helping a lot of people. Some people might also be called to this type of work as well. Absolutely. We have openings for, you know, my positions as recovery support specialist, you know, from nursing, clinical staff, so therapist, um, different things like that. And if they were interested, they would just go to our website and find what best suits them and their experience. Well, I know we'll have all the information about your website popping up here on the screen. If you would just like to learn a little bit more about the programs, whether it's on the side of being here as a patient or being here working as an employee. So Ethan, thank you for sharing your story Absolutely. with us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll have more Indy Now coming up right after this.